Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will show you how to display category description in WordPress in different ways. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Okay, so this is our category archive page. You can see the category name is classic and we have all the posts related to this specific category here. Now, this category specifically have no description and we would like to add a description and then display it. In order to do that, let's go to posts, categories, and here you have a list of all the categories. Look for the one that you would like to add a description to. Let's say classic and click on edit. Over here, add the category description, just like so, and then click on update. Now let's visit the category archive page once again. By refreshing it, we'll see that although we added a description, it's not been displayed on the page. So we need to fix it, we need to display the category. So there are three ways to do it. I will show you uh, all of them. Let's start by hooking the description to uh, the title hook. And then that way we'll be able to display it just below the title. So in order to do that, let's go to appearance, team editor, and here click on the functions.php file of your child team. If you don't have a child team yet, make sure to check the description box. I will leave you a link to the video how to create a child team. All right, so scroll to the bottom of the functions.php file, then we'll need to uh, paste the function over here. So let's go to the written blog post. Also, you have the link in the description box down below, and let's copy the function from here. We'll go back to our WordPress website, and we'll paste the function over here and click on update. Once we updated the file, we'll refresh the page, and we can see the category description just below the category title. So it works perfectly fine. That was our first method. And before we're moving on to the next method, let me just delete the function from the functions.php file in order to show you how to use the second method. So I will update the file after I deleted the function, just like so, and now we can move on. All right, guys, so by default, every time you assign a category to a post or a product, WordPress will automatically create an archive page for that specific category or tag, and it will generate the archive page uh, by a template. Uh, sometimes it's called archive.php, sometimes it's called category.php, etc. It all depends on which team you are using. So by knowing that, we can modify the template file, uh, the archive template file, to display the category description in the right position. And as you can see, this is our category title, and the function that generates this title is over here the archive title, line 17, and we would like to add a description just below this title. So let's go back to our written blog post once again, and we'll copy our function to display the archive description. So we'll copy it from here, and we'll paste it just below the closing PHP tag of the archive title, just like so, and we'll click on update file, and then we'll refresh it and we'll see that the category page is displaying just below the title. And this time I paste it as a paragraph in order to uh, differentiate between this method and the first method. Great, so let me delete it so we can move on to method three. Just like so, I'll click on update and this method will be by using a page builder and I'm sure you're already using a page builder such as Divi or Elementor. And let me show you how to show the description with Elementor. We'll need to create a template by going to templates, add new, and here we'll choose to create an archive template and we'll call it category archive. And after you position the relevant elements, such as the title and the posts, let's drag a text editor. And here we'll change the default text to a dynamic tag and we'll choose archive description, just like so. Right now, it's empty because this specific category doesn't have a description. However, after we'll publish it, we'll add a condition to display this archive template for all the categories. And we'll click on uh, Save or Publish. And once we refresh the category page, we can see that it adopted the new template along with the category description of this specific category. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment in the comment box down below. 
Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way.